right. Hey, Alex. Hi. Nice good to, to see meet you. you. Thanks for meeting me. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can sit down. Got uh, it. Okay. So I have a question. Yeah, what's up? All right. So many people out there have been telling me that if I just simply recycled the plastic in this suit, mm -hmm. that everything would be fine and that there's no problem behind all of this in here. Mm. And I'm excited to talk to you about the Solving Plastic series. So mm -hmm. what's your thought on that? Yeah, I mean, recycling is definitely not the, the answer here. There's a lot of plastic. I can see a lot of it on your suit. And so our new series, Solving Plastic, talks about real solutions to the plastic problem. And we consider real solutions to be ones that tackle the root problem, which is just that we produce way too much of it, just in general. So, you know, when you look at your social media feed, so much of what you see is these ideas that uh, you have bacteria that can eat plastic yeah. or the vacuums that suck up plastic. And this is like what's super viral and where people are excited. And mm -hmm. that's where so much energy is going. What do you think about that? Yeah, I mean, I think it's great to see, see people excited about solutions, but we got to really think critically, right? Like, are these effective? Do they address the root cause? Are they accessible? You know, like, are they scalable? Like, can we really have giant robots that are cleaning plastic pollution in the ocean? Like, does that make sense, yeah. you know? And my belief is no, and my focus is always on true solutions, and that's why I've been, you know, following the story of stuff for 10 years, and they were one of my first inspirations. So I'm always excited to share about the real solutions. So what would be some of the the solutions to plastic. Yeah, I mean, one of them that we highlight is like a glass bottle reuse and refill system. You know, I mean, it doesn't have to be a new idea. This isn't a new idea. Like we know the milkman, right? Maybe it's not as like exciting and headline grabbing as the bacteria that eats plastic, but like this is something that worked before. It tackles plastic and like, guess what? Like. We've done it before, we can yeah. do it again. Yeah, the, the true solutions generally for me that I focus on are simple. They're accessible and they are what we have been doing before plastic ever existed. So some of it's going back to the basics and some right. of it is re-innovating as well. Right, exactly. And what we want to see is that these simple solutions can be the norm, right? We want them to be the norm again. So what would be some of your thoughts on the systemic changes that would actually help us break free from plastic? Yeah, I mean, we got to tackle it from the very root. It's just stop producing so much. You know, any kind of system or solution that just keeps enabling plastic production at its current or increased pace, like that's not going to get us to where we need to be. Nice. Yeah. So I really encourage you to watch uh, Solving Plastic, the series from Story of Stuff. It's an incredibly educational series and it really goes beyond all of the greenwashing that's out there. And I really think that it's so important today to be focusing on the true solutions because if we're not really focusing on the true solutions, we're perpetuating the problem. So um, I'm so grateful that you know, you're a part of the Story of Stuff and you're helping get the real solutions out there. How can people support the story of stuff to get this, these messages of solutions out there? Yeah, I mean, if you want to support and help us continue to profile real solutions, you can do so at our donation page. You can watch our videos. You can check out Rob's, all his stuff. Yeah, Yeah, they're one of my greatest inspirations. So, all right, well, thanks for being here. Trash <laughs> man hug. Thanks for being an inspiration. <laughs>